All right, man. Uh, should Detroit Lions consider trading for Green Bay backers backup? Jordan Love. Let's talk about it. that subscribe button, bell like, comment button, share the video. to our Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. And um, to me, that's that's an inter that's an interesting question because one, that's in the division. But two, everybody is pretty much saying this is going to be Aaron Rodgers. This is going to be Aaron Rodgers' last season with the, with the Green Bay Packers. And in preseason, even though uh, Jordan Love didn't go, didn't do terrible, there were rumors coming out of uh, – <laughs> sorry. There was rumors coming out of Green Bay. There was rumors coming out of Green Bay that – That they weren't they weren't happy with him and that he may not be the future. Maybe that being said, maybe they ready to move on. But if they if they were to trade a player of his he was drafting the first round of his supposed or potential caliber in a division, obviously they would hike up the price because he's in a division. And if he was any good, why would they trade him to the Detroit Lions to begin with? Roger sat behind uh, uh Brett. And Brett sat behind somebody else, uh, somebody else before he got a chance. He was traded from Atlanta. So my thing is, sorry, my thing is, um, I think curtain make a little bit tight today. But my thing is, if they didn't trade Rodgers, they didn't trade Brett. If they trade uh, Jordan Love and what was said in preseason season this year, all right. After that being so high, they ready to move. They ready to move on from Rodgers. Why not? Why? I mean, if they turn Detroit Lions, you definitely got to look like, man, he probably not the answer. He probably is not the answer. And you got to be cautious. Because they're going to run, they're going to run that price up. They're going to run the price up. And, you know, them trading, they, them trading him to Detroit, that means he probably not that good. You know? You know, unless, you know, Brad Holmes sees something different, but this would just be another... Rush move to uh, temporarily relieve the pain because it don't look like there's any too many great quarterbacks next year. Even though I haven't looked at the whole list, but you know, it's an it's a it's a it's a trade. And maybe if Deshaun Watson go to Miami, do you take a ch chance on Tua? And I don't think Tua look any better than um. I don't think he look any better than Jared Goff right now. So with Jordan Love, he got prototypical height, you know. He got prototypical build, but the question is, can he play? Question is, can he play? And, and I really can't tell you that he got a he seems like he got a big arm. He's not the most athletic quarterback. I think his athleticism, I think his as his I think his athleticism is on par with what with, with Aaron Rodgers is as an athlete. He got a big arm. I see why they drafted him. You know, and you got to ask yourself, you know. Is the same Green Bay development that was behind Brett and behind Aaron Rodgers while they was developing on the bench? Is it there with Jordan Love? And if, if it is, maybe the price might be right to go out there and get him. And also, the measurement is the barometer is what is he? What can you compare him to coming into the draft? See that you know, like talent level wise, is he head and shoulders above the players that's coming out next year? Is he more prepared? Is he more polished coming from that Green Bay system? And all the, those are all questions that need to be asked. Those are all questions that need to be asked. And, and honestly, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm usually somebody that likes to take chances. Remember I said we should trade up for Kyler Murray. Remember I said we should have took David Tua. I mean, I mean, Tua or Justin Herbert, which I love both. I love Tua a lot too. You know, that was that was my thing. You know, that was my thing. But like I said before, man, they got some decisions to make because, you know, if Jared Goff uh, don't do well this weekend, then, you know, because Tennessee plans got to be in. And you say, well, he makes so much money that they're going to play him. And that, and that's let you know the force ain't changed. If, we, if he paying you 30 million, you got to go out there and play. And once again, Brad Holmes has made a number of mistakes. He's made a tremendous amount of mistakes. You know, and, you know, and you can have everything else right. You have ask the Miami Dolphins. They got everything else right. You know, 
but the quarterback position and they suffering there for it. They suffering big time. So I mean, like I said before, man, Brad Holmes, he spent you know unnecessary capital on Trinity Benson. He looked like crap. He spent uh, he, he he didn't get the best deal for Matthew Stafford. That might have been or uh, that might have been an organizational uh, decision. You know, to send Stafford somewhere he wanted. It was reports that Matthew Stafford didn't want to go to uh to Carolina. I wouldn't care if Carolina got me the gave me the best package and the best thing I was looking for. He going there. But you know, they're not doing what's best for this organization. They're not doing what's best. They doing what's best on the part. I told you a personal basis. They did that for Matthew Stafford because they like him. They see him as a son. They see him as kinfolk, dog. That's how they see him. And to me, that's not how you run an organization. That's not how you run a successful Fortune 500 business. If you were going on personal feelings, then how can GM and Big 3 and other big corporate businesses lay people off before the holidays or tell people they're going to be laid off before the uh, before the first quarter in, 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 in the next year? You know, they're just fine. They got enough money to make it work, but, it you know, it's principalities to this smoky. You got to make cutthroat decisions. And you got to understand trading for this kid. They're going to run the price up on you. And you might get him there and he might not be no good. So if he was just the future and Aaron Rodgers leaving next year, right? Think about it. For one, they're not going to have a high draft pick next year. They like they got it together. And if they don't have another high draft pick next year and Aaron Rodgers presumably not coming back. Remember Devontae Adams old money. And they let Jordan Love go. That means he ain't no good. Unless you just trade the house. It ain't like you're gonna be able to trade golf for him. You're not. You might want golf. And that that dead money is, is, is atrocious. So like I said before, if they let him go, he ain't that good. He was just supposed to be the future before the preseason started this year. So honestly, I don't think he's a um an option. I think he got a better chance at Baker Mayfield because Baker Mayfield, you know, he trash. And I just don't think he he that good. So it's just a situation where you guys like Baker Mayfield, Tuga Tiger the Boy, Teddy Bridgewater gonna be available. Or you gonna draft somebody? As simple as that. You're gonna draft somebody. You know, maybe Russell Wilson, but he ain't coming to Detroit. You know, he may be available. Jimmy Garoppolo. So they they options are gonna be guys I named Garoppolo, guys like that. You know, or they draft a the quarterback. Let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video question, want to chop it up, want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Excuse me. Best way to donate, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm a social media link subscription. Appreciate the love support. Let me know if you can comment, share the Detroit Lions Talk Playlist.